Hi guys, got a little experiment going on here, which isn't working, I might add, but I thought it was worth a try. Um, got one of these solar rockers, or solar movers, that I've taken the little solar cell out of, and I've connected up one of these Peltier tiles. These are the things that you get them hot on one side and cold on the other, and it generates an electrical current. And I just wondered if there was enough there to drive the little flower. And there isn't. <laughs> I'll just show you why. If I just connect up the solar panel to my meter here, it's on the 20 volt scale at the moment. So that's given me 2.6 volts in the lights that I've got here in the kitchen. Whereas if I go across the Peltier cell that I've carefully soldered onto the flower, uh, we've got, that's 80 millivolts at the moment. If I put a glass of glass, a cup of hot water on top of it, then we're generating is that about a third of a volt. So I think I need a few more of those cells if I want to generate enough voltage to drive the flower. I don't think a third of a volt is quite going to do it for me. It was worth a try, but I expect I should have read the details first before I tried it. So a third of a volt compared to 2.6 volts, we need at least nine of those Peltier tiles in series to give us two and a half volts. So there we go. One of my, I suppose it can go into my failed projects playlist um, because it doesn't work, but it was worth a try just to see what happened. I was just going to put things away and I thought, well, I've got my soldering iron out. I wonder what happens if I put that on top of the tile. It's only a very low wattage soldering iron, so it's going to struggle to heat up the tile when it's on top of the ice cubes. Still, we're up to 0.6 of a volt. I do have a bigger soldering iron. Yeah, that seems to have stalled on 0.63 of a volt. Oh, we got movement. Can you see the flower? There we go. It's not much movement, but uh, yeah. oh, there we go. Nicely done. Not very practical. I'm not going to stand here with my soldering iron on the tile forever, and <laughs> it's not a very efficient way of heating it up. Okay, so we won't go into the failed projects, we'll go into the successful. So I'm generating 0.85 of a volt now with my what is it? 
16 watt soldering iron. <laughs> so we're putting 16 watts into it and we were getting what was it, 0.8 of a volt. Let's let it warm up again. right. There we go. So I'm do using two hundred and forty volts however many watts it was, 16 watts, 18 watts at 240 volts <laughs> to generate something that that tiny solar panel can normally do but it works so we'll call that a night. So a quick summary I was rather hoping that I could use this Peltier tile in place of the little solar cell to drive this solar rocker. Um, I was thinking of perhaps putting it in the window so that the cold of the outside against the warmth of the inside of my house would be enough to drive the flower. But if I got to put a soldering iron on it to, on one side and ice on the other to get enough potential difference, heat difference, to get the current out of it, then that idea is not going to work not with just a single cell tile. Uh, probably ten of them in series might be enough to do it at normal room temperature but if I'm just going to use one tile then I need to heat it with a soldering iron to get enough current. So there we go.